Hi, today I want to talk about electronics that runs on alkaline batteries. As you can see here, these two portable speaker runs on four of these AA batteries. That's a six volt altogether. The problem with it is, once you use it, these alkaline batteries cannot be reused again. So it's going to end up going into the landfills. So I decided to mod these two speaker and convert into a 7.2 volt lithium batteries. And the lithium batteries is rechargeable. Cool. Let's talk about it. As you can see, these two speakers uses this four alkaline batteries. So I decided that is actually very bad for the environment because once you use it up, then it's thrown away. So I decided to rewire this speakers so that it can now be compatible to a 7.2 volt battery. This is actually a lithium battery. I got it from my Sony cameras. And I was able to actually recharge it as well. So using the Sony uh, battery, the MP, I think, 770, I was able to um, take it apart and then create a male and female connection. So whenever I use this up or it's drained and then I connect it back to the Sony uh, MP batteries and it recharged again and so I can use it over and over and over hundreds and hundreds of times so saving the environment so these battery also is very expensive by the way only use it once and then that's it and it goes to landfills whereas here I have opportunity to use the lithium battery over and over and over again save me so much money and also it saved the environment okay let me just explain how I actually did it so the key here is to look at the back of the electronics. So here I have a two, oh, let me just illustrate with this one. So this one, I look at the back and it says a six volt system. Okay, so six volt system. Any six volt system can run on a 7.2 volt lithium battery. Now the lithium battery itself is actually two 3.7 volt connect in series. So it becomes uh, around 7.2 volt. So that's what I did. Actually, I took 3.7 volt lithium battery, connected in series, and then connect that into pairs and made it into four batteries, so two cell. So this is a 4,000 milliamp and it's 7.2 uh, volt. So you're looking at around almost 30 watts of power. So this is actually three or four times more powerful than this single charge alkaline battery. And this is rechargeable. So that's what I did. Um, so I rewired it took out the terminal, connect the positive negative, and then connect the male, actually this one is a female connector, and then on the battery, lithium battery, this is a male. So you have a female and male connected together, and what you am getting is a workable, rechargeable, six volt speaker, this one here. Okay, let me turn it on for you. There you go, and it's working, okay? So now I can run my uh, music, instead of, five hours it can run for about 10 hours and then once it's done I can then recharge this lithium battery again right using my uh, Sony chargers not just that I mean you could do with uh, various of uh, electronics here's another one another speaker but I also was able to mod it with other things like for example a computer fan this is running uh, I think it's a 12 volt DC but I was able to connect to a lithium battery now you can get this lithium battery from your laptop so laptop that you know the lithium battery doesn't work anymore at least that's what you think most likely one or two of them doesn't work and the rest of them is still okay so that's what I have right here I have a couple of them in my old laptop um, it doesn't charge anymore when I took it apart I had six of these and then uh, I took I think four of them work really well and so I took this one and I was able to uh, run this computer fan for example if I connect a alligator clipper, let me just illustrate for you. So I made this uh, male-female connection and I was able to, let me see, there we go. So here we have a negative terminal and positive terminal and voila. Even though it's a 12 volt computer fan, it still runs on a 3.7 volt. I can feel the fan going. That's uh, another application again you can recharge this lithium battery over and over again and then you have a portable fan another thing I was able to do was to take this uh, remote control 
LED lights. I bought it for a couple bucks from a dollar store. It's running off a four alkaline AAA battery, that's six volt. But I was able to connect to a 3.7 volt lithium battery. So remember that you can charge this again. The cool thing about this is because it's a remote control, I could uh, you know, turn it on wirelessly. But here, I'll show you right now. I already uh, have the alligator clips that I um, mod to the back of this light, LED light. So let me connect the positive okay, to the negative. So you can basically convert your alkaline battery to a lithium batteries. You just make sure that you connect it properly, uh, the positive with the positive, the negative with the negative. Okay, so here we go. So you can see here, it's connected with the one 3.7 volt. I think this is a 1500 milliamp hour battery. So let's see, here's the remote control. Let's turn it on. There we go, see? Off, on, cool. So it works, so I have this remote control I was able to connect to my uh, LED light and using lith lithium batteries. Again, saving a lot of money instead of using uh, alkaline battery, I can use lithium batteries. Think about how you can save the environment by converting old technology that uses alkaline batteries and convert that to lithium batteries. Because in the end, you're gonna save a lot of money and you're gonna save the environment as well. And I think it's really cool that I can charge it over and over hundreds of times and still get it to work. And by the way, I didn't spend a dime getting this lithium battery. This is from an old laptop batteries. I took it out and they're out of the six, four of them work properly and there we go. We got now light that works really well. I can also power my portable speaker. All these was a couple bucks for me and then um, the lithium battery was free. Pretty much I reused everything, didn't spend one dime and I also saved the environment. Hopefully you can do the same thing. Thanks for watching educate2.com. Cool.